Well, now to the latest on the devastating floods in Houston brought on by Harvey's torrential rains. First responders have been working around the clock to save people stranded by the storm. Here's CBS News correspondent Don Champion with more on the rescue mission. Overnight in the Houston area, heavy equipment normally reserved for hauling the likes of rock and soil instead saved lives. Stranded residents packed into haulers and were driven to a Walmart parking lot where they were picked up by loved ones or bust to a shelter. Thank God we're, we're here. My son's picking us up and we're going to his house. It's all flooded. Meteorologists now predict Harvey could break a U.S. record for the most rainfall from a tropical system. With 911 call centers and the Coast Guard inundated with pleas for help, some flood victims are now taking to social media. On Facebook, I seen that she was stranded, and I was like, oh my God. I just told them we were going to take a big boat ride. And everything's going to be okay. Francisco came to pick up several family members, including his grandparents and a four year old cousin. His grandmother, so grateful to be rescued, she hugged the constable who she says saved her life. Monday, some parts of the Houston area saw a foot of rain. Harvey is now centered over the Gulf and could dump more than another foot before moving north. As people continue fleeing the floods by air and boat, shelters in Houston are reaching capacity, many arriving with harrowing tales of survival. We felt like there was no hope, and we tried to evacuate on a boat that our neighbor had, but the current was too strong, so we went back to the house. It was scary. It was really scary. President Trump will travel to the Texas Gulf Coast today. Don Champion for CBS3 Eyewitness News.